Hello guys and welcome to Daddy Share Space. So today I just wanted to make a short little video about some counter sink bits that I purchased. Right here before me I have two of the Festool counter sink bits. The, one of them is the 4.5 millimeter and the other one is the 3.5 millimeter. And here I have two uh, Mana um, counter sink bits. One of them is the 3 8 and the other one is one half inch. Both of these different brands, they have the actual screw here so that you can actually adjust the depth of the depth stop so that you can determine how deep you want to drill into your material for your countersink. It's a pretty sleek design because you've got your little countersink portion here and the outer blue collar is the depth stop for that. This Amana is a bit weightier. It's metal. It does not have a central tech uh, tip. It has the quarter inch shank and it has a metal depth stop and you also have the screw right in here that you would use an allen wrench to adjust the actual depth of your whole drill. So here I just have a piece of regular 2 by lumber. Here I have uh, my Festool. This is my TID drill and one of the benefits to the Central Tech system I can put this uh, tip on and then I'll go ahead and take my central tech bit, place it in place, and then we'll go ahead and drill a hole. As you can see here, you can see the countersink, which can be adjusted to uh, get a deeper opening. Now, I also have here, this is my uh, C18 drill. I'm gonna set it up with the other this is the 4.5, and I'm gonna go ahead and try that out here. And there you see the results of that. Now, I'm going to use my Dwalt here to try out the Amana, because it has a quarter inch chuck. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot. And there's your 3 8 hole there. And then finally, I'll have my other drill out here. I'll use this to drill the half inch. And then you see the actual hole there. All right, so as you can see, the holes are, are fairly similar as far as in size, but obviously one is actual um, in Imperial and the other one is in metric. Now, when I lay these bits out, I just want to bring attention to the price. So both of the items here, both of the Festool items, are um, about $87 respectively. Contrarily, both of these devices here are under 50 bucks. Um, one of them I believe is $42 currently on Amazon and the other one was 46. So um, if you wanted to have a cheaper alternative as far as for a counter sink bit, you could go with the Amana. However, if you're in the Festool system and you um, are obligated to use Central Tech, then you would use these bits here. Um, I'm going to do a small video about, you know, basically um, how you could actually use these bits on a Festool drill. Now, obviously, I have the TID here, which is an impact driver, and it came with a quarter inch collet, so you can use these Amanas with no problem. So that's one solution is that you could basically use the Amana. So just a short video kind of, um, you know, showing the different types of countersink bits that you can buy. Um, they can be kind of pricey when you compare them to other options. However, you have to recognize that these particular drill bits um, are not just countersinks because you can buy a countersink to actually uh, countersink a hole that's uh, actually separate. This is an all-in-one solution to get you uh, to be able to drill your pilot hole, but then also to be able to countersink your screw beneath the surface. And with it having the actual 
um, screw on the side for adjustment, you can actually determine how deep you want your countersink to be. So anyway, it's just a very short video about the countersink options that you can utilize with your drills. Thanks for taking time to watch the video and I'll see you in my next one.